Tired of spamming ult? Elusive sniping? Drop kicking with sudden death. Here's how to damage your eardrums. This is all you will be hearing. So you might want to turn that shit down. Things to build around for the combo wombo style. Two or more element primers. Some decent armor to survive. And teammates to deafen. Shut up. Here's the build. First, the strike system. Serpent's Veil for Acid Primer to reduce defenses. Or Absolute Zero for Ice Ore to freeze most things around you for survival ability. You can either go for extra charges or gear speed. Second, the Assault System. Karif's Talon for Electric Primer. Explosions on kill and heals are A+, but don't rely on them too much as they don't proc all the time. Next, Weapons. These are my personal guns. Use what you have. Unending Battle for the sweet 110% melee buff. Siege Breaker to freeze mobs, my personal favorite. Or Ralner's Blaze for bosses as it is easier to prime compared to Siege Breaker for a third element. Ideally you want damage percent and armor rolls. Support. Target Beacon because Rally Cry is shit. Opt for gear speed for your abilities or damage on your Karif's Talon. Or do whatever you want. I'm not your dad. Lastly, Components. I'm using Symbiotic Surge as I have armor rolled on it. But you can sub and soften blows for more survival ability. Conductive Lattice. Still a great component to help you break down shields quickly. Also buffs Karif's damage. Helps with gear speed. Vengeance Matrix. More damage. Nuff said. Way of Resolve. Boost your melee damage even further. You will constantly be dashing, so keeping the buff up isn't an issue. Way of Integration. You will be spamming your abilities, so the buff will constantly be up and it's a nice boost to your damage. Emergency Power. Your oh shit button when you are critically low on health. I don't use Way of Bold because you normally use combo damage to kill mobs. And they don't count as melee kills. So no heals. Same with Bloodlust. But if you are confident with your survival ability you can use Bloodlust instead of Emergency Power. I opted for 3 elements because sometimes your teammates will steal a combo from you after you primed. What you can do is quickly prime and combo with your second element. Then third for infinite combo. Now Sigils. Combo Sigil. Self-explanatory. Gear Sigil. For when you don't have extra charges. Melee Sigil. Duh. You could opt out Gear Sigil if you have enough charges for Lightning Sigil. For more damage on Karif Talon. Things to know. Aura. The type of aura is determined by what is applied on the mob. Aura will go off fire. Then ice. Electric. And lastly acid if all these are applied on the mob. So if you want a specific aura. Say ice. Prime them with ice. Detonate for aura. Then apply any other element for infinite combo as long as the second element is up. But if you have fire and ice primed your aura will be fire instead. Remember. Fire. Ice. Electric. Then acid. Melee jump procs two combos. To melee jump like how I did in the beginning of the video. Press melee and jump at the same time. You can spam it but timing is key. So you will have to practice that if you want to maximize your DPS. Combos gives a shitload of ult charges. So do it as much as you can. These are the changes on Interceptor as a 1.04. Hope you enjoy. Here's a demonstration on a GM3 Heart of Rage chest run. Because doing the monitor on GM3 is stupid. I'm going to shut up now.
the loss of them. No time to rest. Keep after the monitor.
with you. You're not alone. I appreciate it, but Faye... Save your breath. Faye and I aren't going anywhere. I need to see this through. Even if it kills her. Hey, eavesdropping is rude. with a cenotaph wasn't enough? We gotta fix everything around here? Good. Only a few more to go. Finish this. 